everybody, it's Chris from Dean's Creek Ranch. 2023 hay season is among us, and I got a surprise visit this afternoon. We are cutting hay right now. I was actually on the Bad Boy Zero turn, uh, doing a little driveway maintenance, and also I look up, because you get kind of in the mode with the Zero turn. I look up and there's a giant tractor in front of my face with a mower attached. He's like, where do you want me to start? I'm like, there. So, the uh, John Deere 5075E uh, with the mower attached is doing his first pass along the perimeter. And uh, he's gonna mow both fields and then they're gonna uh, use the rake and get it into uh, rows and then we're gonna bale it up. The question this year is, how many bales are we gonna get? Not many, I can tell you this right now, not many. First of all, we bought the house in, in, what, uh, in 2019. I have no idea if the previous owner put anything on these fields. I know we haven't. And this will be our third hay cutting out of four seasons. One year we just kind of used the zero turn and mowed it up. My point is, after this cut, fertilizer's going on the field. We gotta put stuff back. Every time you cut it, you're taking things away from the field. This is where the grass isn't growing that much. The Duracore is working though. Here comes the mower. So your guess is as good as mine. Between the two pastures, if we get 10, that would be great. As it is right now, we literally just want to get it cut so we can fertilize, uh, you know, cut grass. We've got to get something back on this field. Uh, the reason why we didn't do it last year, which was the plan, uh, thank you pandemic in Russia, is that fertilizer was out of control. And we actually just went to a class yesterday about uh, maintenance on the fields. And he goes like, raise your hand if you fertilized last year. No one raised their hand. No one could afford it. I mean, who's gonna put down like $500 an acre? Give me a break. So anyway, everybody waited. So the hay shortage of 2023 or 2022 is still prevalent in 2023 because no one fertilized their fields. So we're trying to get a jump on it. We're gonna cut, we're gonna get what we get. I mean, some hay is better than no hay. We need to get the grass cut anyway. Immediately next step is fertilizer. That'll be an upcoming video. It'll be our first fertilizer season. And we wanna get these fields, honestly, I think we're gonna get a second cut this year. I know we keep talking about second cuts. It never happens. This is an El Nino year. We've been getting a lot of water. This grass is still growing and we're cutting it right now. We're just, we've got a weather window. My point with all this is this. If we get a second cut out of this and we can get 20 bales, we get some fertilizer down, 20 bales for the year, I should say. If we get some fertilizer down and then next year, it's probably gonna pick up a little bit. And then the year following, the idea, if we can get our nine acres of uh, pasture land here, producing 50 bales of hay a year with cows on it, we're winning. I'll show you what the process again, as they come through with the rake and rake it all up and they come through the baler and baler road up. I'm gonna go with nine. Um, what's your guess? See ya.
Let me show you, Mama. We'll do treats later, okay? Sorry, we'll do treats later. That's a good mama. How's the baby? Hey, Pecos. How's the baby? Oh my God, look at the size of that horse fly. My goodness. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I don't blame you. Look at that on Pecos, that horse fly. Good grief. We're gonna get you guys some fly spray. I don't blame you. I'm gonna see if we can get it. Oh yeah, there you go. Pecos is right there. That's like an inch long. That one over there, an inch long. Wow. Fly spray's coming. We'll do trees later. Of this country life i cannot wait to get my own equipment we're getting there oh well hi guys i know what you guys are looking for treats i promise you treats tonight we just got to get the um, tractor out of here okay mama you look pregnant pecos was here to impregnate mama but when we purchased her the rumor was she was already bred and you know what we had an incident with a neighbor bull where we thought that maybe she wasn't because she was in the heat but i think she is was that an agree or disagree i'll take that as agree baby you're looking great except for the uh smudge on your face pecos it's been real i know your time is short here you're welcome back anytime my friend docile bull you're a good boy. He's over there mowing. Yep. High time that we get our own equipment here at Dean's Creek Ranch. All right, we just let him out. Uh, he's on his way. All the pastures cut. When I mean by all, I mean two. So uh, we're going to refine our um, our guesses here on bales of hay. What do you, what do you want? I think five. I'm going to go with five. There's just, there's not a lot of grass. I mean, there's some bare patches. And like I said earlier in the video, we haven't put anything down as far as like replenishing these fields. And we don't even know if it was done before we got here. So it is, we talked about it last year. Now is high time. This cut, whatever we get off it, we get off it. It's a win no matter what. We had to cut it anyway, because we're going to fertilize. That's uh, one of the videos coming up. Like, subscribe, notification button. What do we say at Dean's Creek Ranch? Oh, yeah. wow. Give us your guess. We're going five. We've got um, five acres and three and a half. Give us your guess. See ya.